Hi guys, this is the video lesson on how to write equations of hyperbolas from different given information. These examples are on page 26 of your packet. Um, so please make sure you watch and take notes and then move on to the other tasks for the day. So in example two on page 26, remember page 26, um, they're giving me some information here. So remember, anytime they give you information, I always think it's a good idea to sketch a picture. So I am gonna go ahead and start with the fact that they're giving me the vertices at negative two, one, and positive two, one. So them giving me, the, the problem giving me these vertices tells me a couple things. The fact that these are horizontal from each other tells me that this is going to be a horizontal hyperbola. It also tells me the center. The center is halfway in between those two vertices. So the center on this problem is at zero, one. It also tells me the value of A. A is the distance from the center to a vertex. And so either way you go, that value is two. Great. So what I can do with this information is I can start writing my equation. Um, the horizontal uh, formula is right here. So I'm gonna start with my H and K and my A value. So X minus zero squared minus, remember in a hyperbola the minus is in between, y minus one quantity squared equals one. In a hyperbola, a squared, I'm just gonna fix this right here, it looks a little messy. Um, a squared is the first denominator. So I'm gonna take two and I'm gonna square it and I'm gonna put it right here, which makes that a four. That's all the information the very first part of that problem tells me. Then I'm gonna go ahead to the foci. They're telling me the foci are at negative three, one and at positive three, one. The only other piece of information that helps me with is the value of C. C is the distance from the center to one of those foci, which is three. So I know C is three. Well, my standard form equation, I need b squared. So what you actually have to do is use your supplementar, supplemental formula for c, which in a hyperbola is a squared plus b squared. And so, oops, plug in three. Three squared is nine equals two squared, which is four, plus b squared. And if you subtract four from both sides, you end up getting five is equal to b squared. You don't have to go all the way down to b because the standard form equation calls for b squared. So you just put a five right there. You could technically be done right here. This equation is totally fine and correct. You can clean it up the tiniest bit by taking x minus zero quantity squared and writing it just as x squared over four minus y minus one quantity squared over five equals one. You know, this is probably your best equation, you know, but the top one's fine too. Okay, the next equation is telling me the same vertices as before. And um, so again, I know, oops, I'm trying to, I know vertices are at negative two, one, and two, one, that's the same exact thing as up above. So remember what that gave me. That gave me the center is at zero, one. It gave me that it was horizontal. Oh my gosh. And it told me the value of A. And so where I was, X squared over four minus Y minus one squared over I don't know, b squared equals one. And in this problem, it tells you it passes through the point four comma three. So, you know, you know your parabola is gonna, or it's not a parabola, oh my gosh. You know the hyperbola is gonna look something like this. So passing through the point four three 
means that's the point, that point's kind of right here on your parabola. And so what you have to do is plug in four for x and three for y and go ahead and solve this for b squared. So I am gonna do that. Four, I'm plugging in four for x, so that gives me four, four squared over four minus three minus one squared over b squared equals one. If I simplify that, I get 16 over four, which is four, minus two squared over b squared equals one. If I continue with that, 16 divided by four is four. Oh my gosh, look at my pen. Four minus four minus four squared, or four over b squared, because two squared is four. Sorry, my pen is like not wanting to work right now. Four over b squared equals one. And then I subtract four from both sides. I end up with negative four over b squared equals negative three. Um, I'm gonna multiply both sides by b squared just to get rid of that b squared in the denominator. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. So then this leaves me with negative four equals negative three b squared divided by negative three. So b squared is positive four over positive three. And so all you have to do is take that four over three and plug it directly right back in here. And so um, my final answer, gosh, I know this is messy, sorry guys, is x squared over four um, minus y minus one quantity squared over four thirds equals one, and you can just leave it like that. That's your answer. All right, we have one more example, which is the one down below. And in this problem, they give us vertices and asymptotes. So again, my, one of my best pieces of advice to you is always sketch the graph. So, oops, I wanted to use a different color. So, three, zero, is here and 3 4 is here this tells me a couple things it tells me it's vertical because the vertices are like one above each other it tells me the center if this distance is 4 I cut that in half making my value of a 2 it also tells me a and it tells me the center which is at 3 comma 2 and so I go back up to the top, and my equation for vertical is y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals one. So I am going to start with y minus k squared over a squared, a is two, so squared is four, minus x minus h squared, see you have to be careful, over b squared, which I don't know right now, equals one. So b squared is what I need to figure out. And so the other thing that they give me is the asymptotes, and the only part of the asymptote that you really even need is the slope. So since the slope is two over three, if you remember in a vertical, in a vertical hyperbola, it is a over b. So since a was two from the vertices, we already knew that, that means that this is the correct version, not a reduced version, b is three. So since b is three, you square it, and you put this as a nine, because three squared is nine. And then, you know, I think what I'm gonna do instead of just crossing it out is I'm just gonna erase it, and I'm gonna put my nine there. And then you're done. That is the other, th part of hyperbolas that I needed to teach you was just how to write the equations. So thanks for watching and please go do your other things you need to do for today.